Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to set up OpenGL in Visual Studio 2022. So let's type glfw and let's go to this first link. In this page let's click on download, then I will download the pre-compiled binaries and also I will select the 64-bit version for Windows. Now let's save this zip file, so I will save it on the desktop. Now I need to extract this zip file. So I will extract it on documents into the folder called libraries. Now let's open it and let's extract it. Now let's go to Visual Studio and let's create a new project. So here I will select empty C++ project. Let's click on next. So I will call it OpenGL project 1. Let's click on create. Now the project has been created and it is empty. So let's create a new C++ file. Then here let's select C++ file and let's call it main.cpp Now let's go to the browser Then let's click on documentation And let's copy this source code Let's paste it here now let's add the include folder of OpenGL to this project. So let's go to project, then properties, and here we need to select all configurations. For the platform we need to select 64-bit. Now let's expand C++, let's select general, and in the additional include directories we need to add the include folder of OpenGL. So I extracted the zip file on documents into the folder called libraries into the folder called glfw. Now let's select this include folder and let's click on select folder. Let's click on OK. Now let's expand linker. Then let's select general. Then let's select additional library directories. Let's click on this button. Then let's go to Documents, then Libraries, then GLFW, and because I am using Visual Studio 2022, I will select this folder. Let's click on Select Folder. Let's click on OK. Now let's go to Input. And in the additional dependencies, we need to add some lib files. So here we need to add the lib file of OpenGL in addition to other lib files. So let's go to the folder that contains the lib file of OpenGL. Then because I want to link the application statically, I will add this lib file. So let's copy its name. And let's paste it here. Now we need to add OpenGL32 then user32 then gdi32 and finally shell32 you can find the list of these lib files in the description of this video now let's click on ok and let's click on ok now let's build the application and here we can see that the application has been built successfully now let's run it and we obtain this empty window. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.